The safe system approach uh, starts with acknowledging that people are human. They make mistakes, they are occasionally disobedient and they, uh, well, they are not perfect. And we all know that. When we drive our car or our bicycle or on the street, we occasionally uh, ignore a red light. We all do this. And uh, it doesn't help telling people off, telling people not to do this, because they will continue to do so. And, and well, when we, when we go by, by air, when we travel by air, there is not a sign at the airport saying, please don't bring a bomb. What we do is we check people. We don't want them to bring a bomb and we want to be sure they don't bring a bomb and we check them and we check them again. And in roads, in, in, in road safety, we should do something like that. We should make sure that human error doesn't get the chance to, to, uh, to, to end in a death penalty. Uh, we brought this, uh, in the, this report, we brought this a bit further, looking at what difficulties are there when you try to, to apply those components to real life when you are a low or middle income country, when you are a country where perhaps people don't pay taxes or buy their uh, driving license. There are all kinds of difficulties that do not appear in Sweden or the Netherlands, but that do appear in Africa or, or, or in uh, Latin America and so on. So we took a look at the real situation and, and, and thought about how does a safe system look like in all those cases. So we studied about 16 or 17 case studies where there was actually uh, activities uh, towards improving road safety, whether about uh, post-trash care or about vehicle safety or about road safety around schools. So we took, took a look at those uh, case studies and saw what, what actually was improved or what was not improved and what were the actual difficulties in applying the safe system. Because it turns out that impl implementing a safe system is not uh, an overnight matter. It takes, it takes years or decades even. And, um, and uh, what you see in those case studies were just the first little steps forward. Very good steps, but always small steps. And what, we took, what, we, what we wanted to know was why is it so difficult? Where, and how to overcome these difficulties. The safe system approach as we have designed it now is a framework meant to be applied by everyone who is uh, going towards a safe system and wants to know which steps are needed. Uh, whether you are in a low income country and there is nothing at all regarding the safe system or you are already emerging towards the safe system and want to go to an advanced uh, stage. When you compare this to, uh, to air safety or to navigation safety or to train use safety, we know that the, the train passengers uh, can safely step into the, in the train. There is no, no need to worry because there is no accident at all. And if there is, well, the, 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 the world is too small because we, we are investigating uh, 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 and investigating again and we want to know everything about what happened because we never want this to happen again. Well, this is what you need in road safety. Do not accept any road deaths.